Okay, so this retard is a safe Uchak wearing his disguise. Uh, he also follows me at the gym. Um, he does his uh, typical prancing back and forth on his feet out of nervousness. Um, because uh, the last time he pointed guns at me, he got a restraining order against him. So uh, this is him again. Uh, he thinks he's slow. He pulled up with his buddies, but uh, same shit another day. Just the same shit, doing the same shit. Um, anybody could wear a little prosthetic mask and try to act slick, but you can tell they pulled up right behind me. Uh, they're using their phones. The phone has a lens that points the phone at, the, at an angle. Um, and uh, high key. Uh, they're all dumb as fuck. Uh, this guy suffers from microcephaly. Uh, microcephaly being a shrunken skull because his mother uh, was an alcoholic during his birth. Um, and so he's developmentally disabled. And uh, he conducts himself as such. And so... You know, this is the reasoning uh, behind the restraining order. That and his access to firearms, etc., uh, etc. Et I could go on forever, but uh, there's a reason his wife is sending me uh, pictures of herself. They're all special needed. It's kind of uh, the kind of individual that I used to look after. Uh, this is his buddy that he pulled up with. Um, also, same kind of uh, click, same kind of story. Uh, same kind of fella um, his father's a billionaire so he suffers from uh, you know this hope for forgiveness through the court systems by claiming affluence by claiming affluenza uh, but there is no forgiveness to be honest it's just a death by firing squad um, and he asks for it every time and so that's how we treat spies in this country and uh, that's how he'll be that's how he'll be treated uh, you can tell the way his knees bending way high up He's wearing extensions to his feet. That's his click. That's who he pulls up with. And this fella is from my uh, other class. Uh, what class is it? Let me think. Oh yeah, Spanish class. He was in absentia today because he felt like uh, putting on some makeup, I suppose, and uh, following me around, and uh, that would be him. Uh, same story, another day. Hey, there's uh, several of them, and uh, one of them was pointing his phone through the gap in the desk and uh, filming with his phone. And then as soon as I noticed, he set his shit down. I mean, I think that's indicative enough. And they're over here just not doing jack shit. And so that's Ed. Uh, yeah. He's always been kind of retarded, to be honest. He went to McClintock. Hey, folks. I was doing some uh, computer work over in the engineering building, and a special needs kid named Safe Ulhuk pulled up. Um, this is the guy that has been causing a bunch of trouble because his father's a billionaire. And he wants to be a billionaire, but he has a really big gambling problem, and he gambled away all of his family's money. Um, he gambled away the homes of his own friends, his whole friend's neighborhood. Um, and uh, now he's coming at me as if the judge's ordered restitution is somehow my fault, uh, despite the restitution being because of the crimes and uh, racketeering that he himself and his community perpetrated. And so this guy has become a stalker. This has already been an issue in the past. I got a restraining order because he pointed firearms at me. The judge even told him to pack his bags and get the hell out of the house like a bum. And, um, you know, the issues with this guy keep escalating, keep repeating. Uh, today he followed me to the engineering building, put on his little disguise to try to pretend that he didn't suffer from microcephaly, which is a malformation of the skull, a lack of development, which prevents his brain from fully developing. And so when I call this guy clinically retarded, I'm not saying so as an insult. I'm not slandering him. Uh, it's just the bare naked truth, right? So I have this clinically retarded individual who I used to live with for the sake of babysitting, uh, you know, change his diapers, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, he's stalking me. His wife is sending me uh, AI generated uh, nudies of her fucking me. Uh, she's raped me in the past. Uh, it's her desperate effort to attempt to uh, rob me of my finances, rob me of my security clearance compensation because uh, she's a Navy, Navy admiral 
as is her husband. They basically paid their way. Uh, it's a family friends connection thing. Uh, they're not really worthy of that kind of a rank. They're very immature, uh, very special needs. And uh, she's attempting uh, to wiggle out of the relationship, a relationship that her husband ruined, Saiful Huck, a.k.a. Safir Huck. He ruined the relationship entirely by gambling all of their finances away and ruining his children's lives and futures. Um, all because um, he suffers from addiction issues, uh, he suffers from anger issues, um, and he regularly uh, does awful things such as assault me. And so that's grounds for uh, me potentially be feeling like my life is threatened and retaliating with lethal force. And so it's good for me to, to establish this kind of record. It's good for me to get footage of him and his buddies stalking me around because if push comes to shove, uh, I don't mind uh, shoving, you know, somebody like that is more of a detriment to society than anything. He's effectively trying to embezzle billions of dollars for the gov from the government so he can perpetuate his uh, addiction issues so that he can uh, just keep the cycle going. It's less so about vetting individuals for security clearances. It's less so about running backgrounds. And it's less so about running war game exercises and more so torturing individuals for years and years, in my case, a whole decade. Uh, just so that he can try to fill up his bags, like, you know, shovel some money into his bags and leave uh, with absolutely no uh, trustworthy intelligence work done, with absolutely no meaningful uh, security clearance efforts uh, being undertaken. It's just, uh, I, my, I, I know a guy who knows a guy kind of a thing, and they just push this shit through, and even so for the highest security clearance levels, inc including the Yankee White security clearance, which... Um, as well as some secret compartmented information, um, that would be SCI, as well as special access programs. And so you have a very, very incompetent individual who is literally clinically retarded because of his mother's alcoholism, whose own wife is sending me nudies of me fucking her, you know, in her imagination, just like AI generated nudies. Uh, and all the while her husband is mad at me for, uh, supposedly ruining his life, uh, an individual who I used to live with, take care of, and help change diapers. And so, uh, you know, that being said, uh, I want you guys to go ahead and watch the videos. I kind of break down the same information uh, just live in front of him. You know, I say it to his face, I'm like, hey, this is a retarded kid. I used to take care of him. Uh, these are his issues. Uh, he had access to firearms. Uh, he has anger issues. He has microcephaly. Blah, blah, blah. I say the same shit, except this time I actually capture footage of it. This time around, he brought one of his homosexual partners, Ed El uh, a also kind of a shady character more so than a nutcase, but uh, just another person that I don't associate with and uh, never enjoyed associating with in the time that I needed to. And I say needed to because in the past, him and Safe Ulhuk let me know that, hey, we work at Chase Bank, hey... You know, we know people that you went to high school with. Uh, we used to go to school with one of your siblings or whatever. We're going to help process your security clearance. We work at Chase Bank. Uh, that's a cover for the Central Intelligence Agency where we work. Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, in the past, I had to be associated with this, these guys. I had to be low-key, you know, just spend an hour at their crib, nighttime drinking buddies type thing, play poker or whatever. Um, you know, go to, go swimming with them at their mansions. Uh, there was never bitches there. Should have taken that sign, uh, that they were homosexual, but you know, it all eventually comes to light. It all eventually, uh, becomes clear much later on that, uh, they are very closeted because their communities are just not very okay with them. And they're, uh, you know, what would in their communities be considered sexually deviant, not necessarily just another type of sexual orientation, right? It's not so simple in some uh, antiquated cultures. And so, uh, I just, you know, documenting this kind of stuff, keeping track of it. Uh, so, you know, if he ends up in a puddle of his own blood with a few holes in him, everybody knows why, right? It's not because I'm bloodthirsty. It's not because I'm stalking him. It's not because I forced his wife to send me nudies. Um, it's not because his, you know, I forced his wife to send a bunch of different angles of my dick inside of her. Um, it's not because, uh, I'm stalking him and, you know, threatening him. It's not because I'm physically assaulting him in the nighttime, uh, by putting, you know, him under gas. It's because him and his associates are doing all these things to me. 
And uh, this isn't some sort of manifesto, this isn't some sort of threat, but like I said earlier, to make it very clear, I'm just documenting things because there is a risk of me having to uh, defend myself against this kind of an individual. He's not very level-headed. As a matter of fact, he's very much special needs. And so that very much limits uh, how, you know, uh, I could treat somebody like that. It limits it by quite a bit. Um, uh, I have to keep it very formal. I have to get it on, on footage. And I have to tell people what's going on. Uh, because in the past, he has pointed loaded firearms at me. Um, and this was back when I was babysitting him in his own household. Uh, something my mother and his mother arranged. Uh, only for me to find out that they were also in on the racketeering scheme, in on the effort of trying to rob me of my security clearance compensation. And so I get footage like this. And uh, that's very important for me. Um, and it's very important for uh, the entire community uh, to be aware of the NAU community, the Flagstaff community, is that we have an individual who is special needs, armed and dangerous, and enabled by our own government because he simply pays enough bribes. And we're talking bribes to the president, we're talking bribes to the governor, and we're talking bribes to his own superior, uh, another individual who went to a private high school where they're groomed for these kinds of uh, national defense positions, a school named Arizona Cultural Academy, uh, where they're indoctrinated in a somewhat anti-United States, somewhat hegemonic, uh, we need to take over uh, type mentality. And uh, they're really angry at me because that mentality won't rub off on me. I'm very much proud uh, of this country. I'm proud to be an American. And uh, although our country does have its problems, although foreign policy can be a little bit yucky with America because we have to be the big mean Spartans, uh, I don't think that's grounds for me to go against my values. Uh, I don't think them threatening me uh, to try to force me to go against my values is going to work. And uh, I don't think uh, any of their behavioral, any of their behavior is uh, acceptable at all. And uh, so this is what our nation is going through. It might seem like, oh, just this one person uh, being processed for this security clearance for 10 years. But in reality is, the reality of the matter is they delayed and delayed and delayed over and over and over. And uh, they took advantage of every opportunity they could. And now they want to come in and steal everything that was built up uh, on top of my head, everything that was built up by torturing me. Uh, they want me to endure the suffering. They want me to die for their sins. Uh, and unfortunately for them, that's just not going to happen. What's going to happen instead is the homes that they lost in restitution are going to be lost forever. Uh, their wives that uh, tried to fuck me are probably going to get nutted inside of them. Uh, their girlfriends that, uh, you know, come by in the nighttime uh, are very much welcome to come by in the nighttime. Uh, their mothers that tried to fuck me are very much welcome to get fucked. Uh, Saif Ulhaq himself actually brought his mother into my dorm room to try to coax me into fucking her as some sort of payment. Um, and to be honest, uh, I'm all for the blowies, but, uh, you know, uh, his wrinkly mom, his, uh, you know, Humpty Dumpty looking ass uh, sister, uh, his pretty cute wife uh, aren't worth billions of dollars. Um, but, uh, yeah, pussy's pussy, so... Uh, you can keep your family coming, Saif Ulhaq. It's pretty nice to uh, dump my load inside of all of them. I hope none of them get pregnant. Uh, your genetics are shit. And, uh, yeah, front hand.